Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So tomorrow I am having a LAN party with ARM devices. So I installed the Oldroid N2 Plus with the Amlogic S922X, the Station P1 with the RK3399, and of course I've got my Kadas H2 with the RK3588S. All tasks are done with the Panfrost driver or with Pan Fork driver for the RK3588. For the RK3588, Panfrost will probably improve in time. Wayland already performs a lot better. So I am testing 3 games, but they don't all 3 work on the RK3588. So I am testing Super Tux cards, Xonotic of course, and as last Viper Racing. So Super Tux cards is native ARM64, Xonotic is with Box64. And Viper Racing is done with Wine 32 bits. So one shows the native performance, that is Super Tux card. The other shows Box 64 performance, that is Xonotic. And Viper Racing shows Wine performance with Box 86. This is the RK3399 and it gets 8 frames a second for Super Tux cards. With Xenotic they all are 1080p and normal effects. 3, 2, 1, begin! So here are the results. This doesn't say much about the hardware. It says more about the software and the drivers. So the RK3399 does 8 frames a second with SuperTux cards. The Amlogic 922X does 21 frames a second. And the RK3588S does 63 frames a second. So the RK3588 can also do this with Wayland. Then it gets 110 frames a second. But these are all Panfrost results. So X11, then Xonotic, the RK3399, 15 frames average, the N2 Plus, 23 frames average, and the RK3588, 45 frames, 
I couldn't test Viper Racing because Wine doesn't work with GPU acceleration yet. But there we see the same that the RK3399 performs worse than the Amlogic 922X. So 38.8 frames a second for the RK3399 and 45.5 for the Amlogic 922X. I must say it plays a lot better on the N2 Plus. It's almost unplayable on the RK3399. Those 38.8 frames are no real frames for sure. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I can play games on my ARM devices. And I hope I will win. So all root for me. Thank you all for watching. Please like this video. Subscribe to my channel. See you all later. Bye.